Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, what's up? Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I post new videos every week. So we are back, still continuing this gel series in part three and we're gonna be talking about how to do different types of nail art using hard gel. Designing with gel has honestly become one of my favorite things, especially to do an encapsulated nail because gel files so easily, more easy than acrylic, especially when you are building inside the nail and you're able to put multiple types of nail art inside the nail and still have it coming out looking like nice and thin, which I really, really love. So that has become my go-to when it comes to anything encapsulated. I'm also gonna be showing you how to do an ombre nail using gel in case you have a hard gel customer that wants to achieve that ombre look just like she could with acrylic. And also how can we create some custom colors using hard gel? So if you wanna use your hard gel and you don't have it in colored, you don't need to worry about that. I'm gonna show you how we can make your own colors using hard gel. So we're gonna get into all of that and more right now. Okay, so we're gonna use the same nails that I previously did in part two, and I'm just gonna go on top of this to show you some cool nail art things that you can do when it comes to gel. So if I was to do a fill-in, just know that in nail art, if I was to do a fill-in, let's say somebody came in with acrylic, you can do all of these same designs right on top of acrylic. You can mix your mediums. Don't worry about that. And again, because you have, I would just file this down super thin because I am gonna build it up. If I was doing an encapsulated nail, an ombre nail, or a custom color, anything that I'm gonna show you, I would just file down that nail, whether it's a full nail with a little acrylic or it's gonna be a fill-in. And because the fill-in will be filled in with whatever you're gonna be doing. So again, if you have a client, that most of my clients like to do um, acrylic, but when I do encapsulated nails, I love to use gel now, so I'll definitely go ahead with gel. So the first thing, let's clean these nails off and just cleanse them. So I'm not gonna file it down because again, this is just a demo, but if this was a real person and I was doing it, I will file this down to as thin as possible so that when they wanna come back and take the design off, we can just file down to that thin layer. So the first thing I'm gonna do is an ombre nail. So for ombre, I'm gonna be using the precision tube. So I have white here, I have some concealer peach, and you, as same thing with acrylic, we gotta encapsulate it with a little bit of clear. Also, also I'm gonna be using my gel brush to for my application. And I'm gonna be using this ombre brush that I have from Madame Glam. This is their ombre brush and I really like it because it is just life-changing again. And I love this brush. So I'm gonna be using these tools. And as always, I have I have a little bit of acetone that I like to keep on the side and a nice clean paper towel to just wipe off anything. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take a little bit of my peach color and just apply it on the nail. So let's do it on this one because this is a nice clear background so you can really see. So what I like to do is just take out a glob and again, you can use the tube or we can use the brush either way, but I'm gonna build up the nail like I normally would. And I'm going to go all the way to the free edge of the nail where I want that ombre to start. Remember, we want to give it a little bit of room because ombre is going to run and trickle. So we want to see enough of both colors. So sometimes I'll use the, the tube, but then again, I'm going to go with my brush and just move anything as is. This looks pretty good. So I don't really need to mess with this. What I'll do is just flatten this part out right here. I'm just going to brush it down because I don't want to knight a blunt mark where the white is going to begin. And because I'm building on top of a nail, 
I'm not gonna build the whole nail and then put the white on top of that and then the can then the clear because it's gonna make it way too thick. So I don't want any bulk on the edge where the white is gonna be. So I'm gonna blend that out. And now I'm gonna go ahead and cure that. Okay, now that that's cured, I'm gonna go on with my white. Same concept. And I'm gonna put a little bit of this white right on the edge. And I just want it to be, so it's not so blonde, I want it to kind of be just the free edge of the nail. And remember, we build with gel, and this is sculpting building gel. So I don't, I'm gonna encapsulate it. That's where my bulk is gonna come from. So I wanna keep this fairly light. And now I'm gonna go on with that ombre brush. And what I'm gonna do is just brush it down a little bit. And I'm not really worried about it going too far down because I'm gonna wipe some of that away and I'll show you in a minute. Okay, so once I wipe that down, what I'm gonna do is take my same brush, and now if there's nothing on it, I just dip it in a little bit of acetone, and I'm kind of gonna wipe this away. And again, guys, I'm showing you how I figured out how to make it work. I know there's other tutorials that are a lot more professional when it comes to this, but honestly, I had to do a trial and error and do what works for me because I wasn't getting it. It seems simple when they explain it, but it really wasn't that simple when I tried it. So now that I kind of blended that out, I'm gonna just kind of go on with this guy. And I'm just dipping in an acetone actually, and just trying to blend it out. I don't, know, I don't want any down here at all. I want it more at the tip. The thing is with gel, the ombre isn't as nice as acrylic, I find. That's just my take on it. But the good thing is you have some time to just play with it. It's not like acrylic, so you can blend it out as much as you want. But honestly, I just use this brush and some acetone and just kind of wipe away what I don't want until I get it to how I like it. So you want this line to be very gradual. If you do see any air bubbles, like I just saw one, you wanna just wipe that away. Okay, and now I'm just gonna clear off my brush and just fix this, but I can always fix that towards the end. Okay, so for me, this looks decent. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cure this as soon as I get this little bit off. Okay, so I'm just gonna cure this underneath the light. Okay, so once this cures, I see like there's a little bit of a dent in it mm -hmm. and everything. It doesn't even matter because I'm gonna go ahead again. I wanted most of my bulk to come in with the clear. So now I'm just gonna encapsulate this whole entire nail with a little bit of clear to protect it for when I'm filing. I'm just, again, you can use the tube, you can use the brush. I'm gonna go ahead with the tube because it is quicker. And I'm just floating it over, making sure that I cover this whole nail.
And at this point, I just wanna make sure everything is covered. Like I always say, gel files very easily. I'm not stressed about the shape or anything. Okay, so I have this fully covered. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure this before I file. Okay, once this is done, we can go ahead and wipe it. So it's ready to go when we file. I'm gonna file all of these at the same time at the end. So now that this is ready to be filed, I'm gonna just swipe it with some swipe before I shape and buff. So moving on to the next nail. So the next nail is going to be this one. I'm gonna be doing an encapsulated nail with some nail art. So for this, I'm gonna use a couple different mediums. So I have some glitter here from Kiara Sky. I got some bigger confetti pieces from Young Nails some gel paint just to show you. And then I have some base gel. And I also will be using my flatter brush. And I use this, the base gel brush that I use that I mentioned, I use this for nail art. So the one thing I'm gonna say, if you are beginning to start using gel, label, I label it because what happens is every time you dip into this, it gets caked in. You see all those little pieces of glitter. So. I usually keep a container and I label it. So this is for in my encapsulations only. And then I have another clean one that I use for just regular basing. So I'm gonna go ahead and again, if this was a fill-in, new set, whatever, we always go in with a little bit of base gel and cure that. We want some type of foundation. And the reason I use base and not sculptor is because you're gonna see me layer so much, but it's not gonna really build up any type of bulk. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do one thin coat of base and then cure that before I put on anything else. Cause we wanna make sure we protect the nail by all means before we start anything. So now that that's there, I'm going to cure that. Okay, so once that this is cured, now I'm gonna go ahead with my first piece. So we wanna start with the biggest piece that we have possibly, or depending on how you wanna layer it. So for this, I usually start with glitter. I know this is the bigger pieces, but I like to start with glitter as a foundation. So I'm gonna take a little bit of glitter and I'm gonna work right on my napkin right here. We don't need a whole lot, it's just one nail. So I'm gonna scoop a little bit out. And I'm gonna go ahead, one more layer. Every layer is going to consist of base and some type of nail art. So once we have base on, I'm gonna put a little bit more base. This is what the nail art is going to stick to. Thin coats, brushing on just like polish, super simple. So now I'm gonna go in, I tend to use this little puffer thing. I don't know, I feel like it just, uh, I don't know. And this is actually, this is not even a nail art brush. This is a makeup brush. So I tend to use this one and I want to make sure I just kind of get a bunch on my brush and let's just place a little bit kind of on the edge. So you see, it'll stick right to that gel. So I'm going to kind of do like a side thing. And this doesn't mess up my brush. I use this brush for everything. It'll come right off. Even though it's touching the gel, it's very simple. Let's wipe this by the cuticle. Okay. I'm gonna make sure that everything is just like kind of flat and right in there. It's gonna cure right into that. So now that that's set, that's the first layer, I'm gonna cure that. So once that's cured, you can see it's not going anywhere. It's there. So now I'm gonna go with the bigger pieces. So with a bigger piece, we wanna make sure that we are cutting stuff up. We don't want any big pieces. Again, it's not a big deal if it pokes out through the gel. Well, it'll end up just getting filed away, but we wanna just make sure we cut this as small as possible. So usually I'll just do like a little rough cut 
and try to get the big chunks. And as I'm picking up pieces, then I'll kind of push them or cut them as need be. But I'll just do like a little rough cut for this. So now I'll go in with another layer of base. Right on top of that now, see, this is why I have the tube for this, because sometimes you do pull random pieces of glitter. It will mess up your whole entire jar. Then go to base, no rhyme or reason, no rhythm to it, just paint it on. So once that's done, I'm gonna just use the tube, because there's usually some little remnants of the tube, and I'm just gonna dip the tip in, and then I'm just gonna randomly place pieces of confetti to just kind of sparkle. See, so like this piece is a little bit thick. I don't really care for it too much, so I might get rid of that guy, just because it's a little thicker than I care for. So we want to kind of pick and choose. So this is why sometimes I'll go with like the thinner ones, the bigger pieces. And just place that wherever. I just wanted to offset so we see that this is starting to look like something. And I will go ahead and cure that. Once this is done, I decided to add a little bit more. So let's add a little bit of something else. Just to show you that it's kind of sky's the limit. Let me wipe this guy off. And I'm just going to take like a little scoop. Something bigger. I just want to show you that. No matter what you put inside this nail, honestly, it's gonna be thinner than anything that you can encapsulate with acrylic. There's no way you could do all of this with acrylic and have it come out as thin. So once that's cured, I'm gonna do another layer of base, just brushing it on. And this time you'll see it's a little bit more gritty, so we wanna just make sure we're really getting it. If you see anything hanging up, like you can see this little piece, I don't know if you can see that on camera. I could easily just take some scissors or tweezers and just cut that off. And so the same concept, I'm gonna go in and just grab pieces randomly that I wanna put on the nail. I could take some big ones, some small ones. You can do different types of different layers of confetti. It's whatever you want. It's your world. I'm just gonna place this on whatever. And I love that the thing I like about this nail is that you end up seeing so many different layers like you see every layer like if somebody says oh let me see your nail it's not it's not just like one dimensional like you can stare at it and see how it builds up to be this thing and i love that all right so now that that's done i'm gonna go ahead and cure it again Okay, and lastly, I'm just going to add a little bit of color to this. So what I like to do is just give it some dimension. And I have a five millimeter liner brush. And I'm just going to go in. And what I like to do, and I usually use my nail and my thumb as a palette. I'm going to take a little bit of clear because I don't want it to be so milky white. And I'm going to take a little bit of white. And I'm gonna kind of intertwine the two. Right? Another layer of base.
Sometimes you have to, so now that it's getting thicker, I need to kind of make sure I'm getting all those nooks and crannies. So I'm just making sure I paint it in. Again, it doesn't really matter. I just want to make sure I'm getting everything. And then I'm going to just go in and just add some swirls. So also to diluting the white, it'll also disappear a little bit from the... It'll just a little appear, it'll disappear a little bit as you're brushing it in. So I just want to give it some swirls, make it look a little whimsical. Just give it a little something. And if you feel like you did too much, you can always just like take it away or thin it out a little bit. I can take it away so it's not as, I just want a little bit of swirl so it does a little bit of something. So that gave it like, oh no, it gives it a little something, something. Can't explain it, but it makes it look whimsical. I think that was a good word, whimsical. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure this. Okay, and lastly, I'm gonna go in with that clear sculptor and I'm gonna encapsulate all of this. And this, I love doing this because clients always are like, oh my God, what is she doing? This looks hideous. Because again, I always just do it super bulky because I just wanna make sure, especially in this scenario, you wanna make sure you're encapsulating everything. We wanna make sure everything is covered completely because we have some high pieces of glitter, possibly. So I wanna make sure we get everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and encapsulate this whole nail. Making sure I get the sides and the edge. This is pretty, I might do this on somebody. I just really came up with this right off the top of my head. I'm grabbing stuff as I'm shooting. And I really like these colors. This is cute. It would have been cute Valentine's Day-ish. Okay, so I'm taking a look at that nail from all angles. And you see, it's still not even that big. After all that, and I still have the file. It's still not even that fat. It looks crazy from this point of view, but it's not that thick. So now I'm going to go ahead and cure that one last time. Okay, so now that this is cured, again, I'm going to file the two of these when this is done. We can go ahead and just wipe it with some swipe so that it is ready to be filed. So the next nail. So for this nail, I want to just show you how if a customer wants a color, let's say they have a gel polish color on their toes and they desperately wanted their nails to match, or you just wanted to do a design with the color that you don't really have in gel and they're getting gel. So how can we make this work? Very simple. I'm gonna take a little tray that I have here. Again, with my base coat and I just have a random gel polish color and an orange wood stick. So I'm gonna take a little bit of base. I'm not gonna waste a whole lot just for the little bit of base, dump it into the tray. I'm gonna drop some color into this and literally just mix it all up. This is just pigmenting the gel. So while we could use the gel polish, what if we wanted to do something with it? I just find that if I wanted to do, let's say an ombre with it, where I needed to kind of build up, I needed to act like hard gel. So just painting it is not gonna work. This is when I find this handy. So I'm gonna custom blend this color, right? I'm gonna put that to the side. Let's do something with an ombre effect. So I'm gonna go with my peach again. And I'm just gonna build the nail. And 
And I'm gonna do a two-tone ombre for this nail. I'm gonna blend this color and then I'll blend another one. So the same thing with the other ombre before, right? About to the free edge. Back with my blending brush. And I'm just gonna smooth this out. So we built it all up here and then smooth this out flat. And then I'm going to cure this before moving on. Okay, so I have this first color here. I'm gonna mix this all up. And then I'm gonna grab another tray with another stick. And I'm gonna go in and do the same exact thing with a different color. Just so we can see how this could work with two colors. Same concept. We wanna make sure we have a good amount of clear. We need a little bit of color. If you feel that you have a little too much of one, we don't want too much gel polish. We just want enough polish that is going to make the gel an actual color because then it's gonna defeat the purpose. It's not gonna act like hard gel system. It's gonna act more like gel polish. We still want that sticky, gel consistency. So what I'm gonna do is, let's take these guys. And if you blend before, you might wanna just, just give it a little mix, make sure it's still working together before you do anything. So I'm gonna go in with my application brush with the first color. So again, I'm gonna scoop it up like gel and I'm just going to build it up a little bit on the edge. I'm gonna wipe this all the way off. And then I'm gonna take the, my second color. Actually, I put a little too much. I'm gonna go in with my second color. And then what I'll do is, we can do the same thing with the ombre, but I don't really wanna use that because it's a little heavy. I'm gonna just blend this in. Or we could do like a marble. Actually, let's do marble. I feel like that's, that's working out better. That's pretty. These colors marbled, or it's, it's working right now. It could be some type of marbling effect. I'll get a little bit more blue. We're winging it, guys. We're winging it. So let's marble out. Let's marble this. Let's not ombre. Let's marble this. So I'm gonna place blue in random places and kind of let it do its thing. The thing with gel too is that it likes to move. So it will eventually move. You don't really need to do much in a marble technique, especially. So I'm gonna just marbleize this a little bit. Get it to intertwine. Let's push this over a little bit. And if I wanted it darker and I put it on, I can always just go back in with a little bit more color. Just gonna kind of come down the sides a little bit. You know what I should do? Let's like half French this. This is just, can you tell I thought about this beforehand? No. This is me on the spot right now saying, oh, let's do this. I'm going to, I'm going to deep like half French this. Actually, where's my other brush? This is my good brush for that. Because of the shape. Oh, I love it. So 
I'm going to give this kind of a French with a curve type situation going on. Let's curve it out. Turn the finger. Uh -huh. Now she looks like something. I'm gonna put a little bit more, just so we see that as French. I feel like I want it. I want to see an arch, so I'm gonna put a little bit more there. And then fix that up. Yeah, so now you see that as French. And I'm just gonna move this a little bit here. Okay because I'm going to file all this, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so now I'm going to, let me move all this stuff out the way, and I'm going to go ahead and cure this. So now we have like some type of French thing going on, like a deep French. Maybe I should just French it out. I know, don't kill me. This is how my customers hate me, no joke. This is how I am in real life, like, hmm. Yeah, let's just do that. I'm going to get rid of that. <laughs> I was digging it, but then I'm like, you know, I'm not. <laughs> so let's get rid of it and let's just French it out. Okay. All right. That's better. Let's do that. Okay. So now we have these two colors and we have a French. I'm going to go ahead and cure that. Okay, and like the other ones, we're gonna go in with a little bit of clear and just encapsulate that. Okay, so that's all coated and clear, and I'm gonna cure it one last time. Okay, so now that that's cured, I'm gonna wipe this with some swipe, and I won't bore you with the details. I'm just going to file these all away. So let's file these up and see what they look like. So now we have everything filed and buffed, top coated. So you can see that ombre, have a little oil on hand, gloss it up. We see that encapsulated nail, like you see all the colors into it. Let's see if I get closer. Yes, I love this. And then we have the little French with the color combo. So this is just some of the cool things, again, that I like to do, especially the encapsulated nails, color, com color, com color combining with the the gel colors and this is just some of the things that you can do with hard gels and also again in doing acrylics too so we can mix the mediums there's nothing wrong with that so just to show you a few little things that i like to do okay guys if you're interested in anything that i was using i will leave a link in the description box below to all the products that i was using today and next time we're going to be talking about a men's gel manicure so we never discussed the fellas on this channel so far so how do we give men the proper manicure because it is a little bit different than a women's gel manicure so we're going to get into that in part four continuing the gel series and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified when that video posts thank you so much for watching i will see you next time bye